This is a video showing how to do the calibration for a force sensor within SparkView. I've previously connected a high resolution force sensor to an interface that is paired with SparkView. I'm now going to go to the bottom of the page and click on the crossed tools icon at the bottom of the page. The calibrate sensor button is active because there is a sensor with a calibratable measurement that is attached to the computer. I'll click on the calibrate sensor button. Next to sensor at the top of the page, it has defaulted to my high resolution force sensor and the measurement type of uh, the force in newtons. The calibration type for this is going to be a two point adjustment, adjustment for slope and offset. And I'll click on next. For the standard value, um, we will collect this by mounting the force sensor vertically with the hook pointing down. And then with the hook attached, I will then press the zero button or the tear button on the force sensor. This will zero out any effect of the mass of the load cell itself and the hook that is attached to it. Once I have that done, I'll go ahead and uh, make sure that my standard value is zero because there's no mass hanging from it. And I'll click on read from sensor. Next, I'm going to hang my known mass from the hook of the high resolution force sensor. Just as a usage note, if you're looking to do very close work with any of the force sensors, please make sure that they are plugged in to power for at least a minute before doing the calibration to allow the electronics to stabilize. So I've now hung the mass from the hook. Please make sure that it's not swinging um, as this can lead to uh, changing values. And then once you've done that, go ahead and scroll down a bit and click on read from sensor. You'll note here that there's a negative value. The default measurement for the high resolution force sensor is a push positive measurement. That is fine. We're going to go ahead and maintain that. So the, the standard value that I'm going to put in here uh, will need to also have that same negative sign so we have the same sense. Which is going to be negative 2.48 newtons, which is what I've um, calculated. And then I'll go ahead and click on read from sensor again to make sure that's stabilized. And then I'll click on OK. Now that I've done that, I have my calibrated force sensor, which can be used in further experiments. 